Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to install custom firmware LME onto your PSP. Uh, you can either install install 6.60 MLME or 6.39 LME. So depending on which version of LME you want, um, download the correct one that you want. So after you download the version of LME that you want, whether it be 6.60 or 6.39, uh, open it up and hook up your PSP to your computer and open that up it should look like this and what you're going to do is uh, op uh, drag the PSP folder from LME to the root of your PSP just like this and it's going to say do you want to merge the folder you're going to say yes you won't lose anything so after you drag the PSP folder over um, you now have uh, LME custom firmware put onto your PSP. But if you're upgrading to LME from a lower custom firmware, say that you have 6.35 custom firmware and you want to upgrade to 6.60 LME, you're going to have to download the official version of 6.60 uh, firmware and the link for that download is also in the video description and after you download that you're going to open up PSP on your PSP and go to game and go to update and you're gonna drag the uh, you're gonna you're going to drag the uh, 6.60 official firmware update onto the update folder so that way uh, the LME will use that official firmware to upgrade to the uh, LME version of the custom firmware so and the same thing if you the same thing happens with a 6.39 LME if you are if you need to uh, if you're upgrading to from a lower version of custom firmware to 6.39 LME you would do the same thing you would download the 6.39 official firmware and put it onto your update folder in your PSP so that LME can use that to upgrade to the custom firmware but if you are already on uh, 6.60 custom firmware and you're upgrading to 6.60 LME custom firmware you won't have to download the official firmware you won't have to do that so yeah that's how to put the files onto your PSP after you put the files onto your PSP that you need um, unhook your PSP and go to the game directory on your PSP and launch uh, this launched application called LME installer after you launch LME installer press X to install the custom firmware after you install the custom firmware the PSP will reboot and and now you have custom firmware on your PSP but every time you turn off and turn on your PSP um, the custom firmware will go away so to re-enable custom firmware on your PSP you're gonna have to launch a program called LME launcher on your PSP so every time you turn off and turn, on, turn off and turn on your PSP uh, open up LME launcher and it's gonna re-enable custom firmware on your PSP again all right, that's how to install and use uh, a custom firmware LME onto your PSP. And if you enjoyed this video, please like. And if you have any problems, please uh, please comment and ask. All right, thank you for watching.